Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Roots, where I try to go back in time to Minecraft Classic. And by Minecraft Classic I mean 1.20.2, but in the classic feel, with the boss, our favorite pig. Man, I just watched Minecraft Live and realized that they're finally adding automatic crafting to the game. Wow, that was a shocker. Um, <laughs> not something I was expecting there. Um, that's gonna revolutionize everything, I think. But today, we are not focused on Minecraft Live and what is to come, but we are focused on finding a new home for the boss and myself. Um, we've been disgraced, basically, by... Did that zombie have reach act? What was going on? Oh! Look at that! One of the, the, the boss's people! But anyway, me and the boss are trying to find a new place to live. We've been disgraced by the warden. Uh, I tried to go back and get my stuff multiple times. Didn't go very well. Um, so we're just gonna leave that in place. We're gonna ditch it. We're, we're just leaving it behind. Jeremy is but a long forgotten memory. Maybe we'll go back and visit him someday, but in the meantime, we've gotta find somewhere safe that's not warden infested. Ow! I'm realizing I don't have any armor because I lost it all. Soon I won't even have to craft a furnace. We'll just have my crafting table do it for me. At least I'm wearing pants now and have a shield. I'm feeling slightly more prepared, but not by that much. What I would like to find, though, is just some nice place to settle down and calm home. Boss, let's go a little bit further inland, like right to the little, little creek. A little end of the creek. And look, <laughs> it's creek, but I hear some people say creek, and it's really weird. I'd like to find just some flat... Nice land. This, this is so hilly. There's trees everywhere. I feel like it would really get in the way. I'm finding a bunch of pumpkins and melons over here, which is really nice because I'm running really low on steak and I would like some sort of food. I've also been thinking though, I always I always go for the flat ground. I always go for the, the easy place to build because I'm not a very good builder and it makes it a lot more simple for me. But I'm thinking, what if, what if we have some fun? What if we, what if we do things a little bit differently and we make like a, like a tree house or something? I've always loved the idea of tree houses in Minecraft. I can remember back to my, my old pocket edition days and I would, I would have a tree house and it wasn't very good and it wasn't very big, but it was cool and I liked it. So what if we could do something similar to that? That just, that just feels right. That feels like the spirit of Minecraft. Go do something that I'm not used to. But if I were if I were to do a treehouse, I would need to find a good a good place with with big trees. We've got some jungle trees here, but a lot of them are very small. So I'm wondering. I saw. Well, let me show you over there. This is the least flat open area, <laughs> but it also has really tall trees, and I'm interested. So I'm gonna head up there. I'm gonna scout out what the trees are like. And we'll see what we can do. Oh my wow. Oh, that's a parrot. Oh, that's a parrot. Oh, that's a parrot. Oh, that's a parrot. Please love me. Okay, that one just hates me. I'm not going to force it to love me. So if we can find one of them green ones, I would love. To. Okay. Yeah, these these trees are uh, considerably taller. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this could work. I, I'm thinking back to the, wow, really old Captain Sparkles videos where he had... I think it was called a Jerry Tree. I didn't watch a ton of, of, of his videos, but I I loved his giant tree house. Look at this, there's a savanna right over here, or a mesa, whatever. No, 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 that's a savanna. Okay, okay. Only problem, only problem here is that we've got this very small patch of jungle here. If I'm looking at my mini-map, it's, it's not very big. If we wanted to expand very far, is that a, that's a village over there. Oh, man. This is a good area, though. So let me head kind of straight into the middle here. Uh, let's make a temporary waypoint there. Right into the middle of the jungle. This tree is really calling my name. It's really calling my name. Oh, I have a shield. And I'm about to die. <laughs> uh, hey, Jerry. Uh, the boss... Jerry, the boss just wanted me to make sure that... Uh, that you would that you was doing okay. Um, I figured I'd I'd just stop in for a minute, um, see how see how it was going. Um, but anyway, didn't mean to bug you. Uh, don't want to bother you or nothing. So uh, you 
carry on there, Jerry. Uh, you just you carry on. Oh man, it is dark. It's dark and I don't have any armor. I don't even have a torch. What was that? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Never do that again, Mr. One Trader. Never again. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. There's that blue parrot that hates me. Um, that there should be my items right about here. I hear the skeleton. Uh huh. Ouch. Okay, there's some stuff. Not enough stuff. Not enough stuff. That was not my armor or my shield. The two things that I really need. Not even my iron sword. Okay, look. Oh, he was one hit. I probably weakened him up before I died. We'll go with that. Oh, here. Here it is. Everything. Oh, it's so hard to see. Can I please get a torch out? Okay, there we go. All my lovely stuff. All my lovely stuff. I can't believe I keep dying. Guys, I'm not this bad at Minecraft, am I? Well, I guess now's about as good a time as any to start on this treehouse that we're that we're trying to do here. So, um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this because uh, I know in Captain Sparkle's video he made a giant tree, or maybe there was a mon pack and he used a giant tree. And I, I'm realizing it may be difficult to do with a small tree, but I also don't want to copy Captain Sparkles. I want this to be my own. So what do we do about this? Okay, there we go. We've made it just about to the top of the tree. And how, how do I want to do this? I'm thinking I like remove the top layer of these branches. And then kind of build little rooms on each of them, but I don't have to stay to a specific tree. Like I could have a room over there, I could have a room over there, I could have a room over there. Just kind of, kind of making it my own. Um, hmm. I guess I can do oak or something for now, and then I can always change it later. Okay, <laughs> I really don't want to go down there. There's not really a good safe way down there. Uh, there's a bunch of mobs out. I don't really have any stuff, so. <laughs> I'm gonna bone mail, bone mail a tree to get some extra wood. There we go. All right, <laughs> we've got some oak wood now. What is this sky block? All right, we've reset our spawn as well. That would be nice. And I will also sleep through the night, so that uh, we've got a little more daylight to work with. I'm not particularly wanting to do it like this, but I think for the time being, we are going to need to. We're gonna have to do a kind of a ladder up here. We'll make an, a good entrance eventually. I know this isn't going to look very nice, but I think it's going to be easiest for the time being while we're still getting our stuff together to just have a ladder going straight up. And then uh, we'll make a waypoint here as well so that we know exactly how to get to our, our home tree, if you will. I think Minecraft is in many ways is a game about solving problems. Sometimes they're problems that you yourself create, like making a base in the trees instead of doing something more simple and we're gonna figure out how to how to get around that how do we make a good way to get up into this area um, we could use those water elevators we could use uh, uh, mine carts something like that and I think I think that's something that that I forget sometimes is we don't always have to do thing in the most optimized best way possible we can just enjoy the process that being said, there are a couple things I want to do today. We need to make the tree into a bit more of a hospitable place. Where's my shield? Oh, it's right. And in addition, I want to check out the village that we saw a bit southwest of here, I believe. Um, oh, there's a red parrot. I would love a green one if I could find one. So make the tree a little bit better, find that village, see what's going on over there, and then hopefully get some armor as well. I'm tired of dying 26 times every episode. <laughs> Man, yeah, it is going to be a bit of a chore going up and down here every time. So we're going to have to figure something out pretty quick of what we want to do, whether that's water elevators, mine carts. Uh, without an elytra, things are really a lot more difficult. But I think that's good. I think that's good. It gets you back in the classic Minecraft feel of how are we going to get this height without an elytra? And look at that. It's a ruined nether portal. I don't even, I haven't even started thinking about going into the nether yet. We are nowhere near prepared, however, I would very much like, oh, a golden apple. And some glistening melon, flint and steel, sharpness five gold sword, I mean, 
I'll take that for the time being. Not great, but man, it's all overgrown, vines all over it. That's pretty cool, actually. I will take this gold block and the magma. All right, here we are, the village itself. And this one appears to be in the savanna. So when that villager update comes out that, you know, makes all the different villagers and different biomes give you different trades, hopefully we'll have a little bit of a head start. Oh, they've got a blacksmith. Mr. Blacksmith, you shouldn't have. Three emeralds for an axe. Fifteen coal for an emerald. Okay, that's that's not terrible. What do you what do you got in here for me, buddy? Some gold, some bread, some iron armor. Two pieces that we didn't have, too. You couldn't have gotten me a better trade, sir. What's your name? Ronald? Wow, look at that. Ronald is a gentleman and a scholar, I'm like Jeremy. Well, we got a bit of a two for one there. We got some armor taken care of, and we met Ronald the blacksmith. We'll have to come back to this village eventually, kind of build up some defenses around it. I don't want zombies eating all of these lovely people. We've got a growing stand. Is there a chest of- No, oh, I thought there was. Using flint and steel to light my way through the cave is also a very classic feeling. Okay, well, I'm feeling slightly better about our armor situation. I wouldn't mind if we ran across a vein or two of iron on our way. But I think what we should start doing is collecting some wood so that we can start kind of building up our, our tree base situation. Right now, we are looking very dire. I want to put some torches like around the tree. Oh, I did not mean to make that many torches. <sighs> Thinking we put some trees around- or some trees? <sighs> Thinking we put some torches around the base of the tree itself. Oh, I was heading to the boss's waypoint. We do need to, to find some sort of shelter for the boss as well. I don't know that we're going to be able to get him on top of this tree very easily. I don't think, I don't know that the boss would like that anyways. Oh my gosh, there are zombies and skeletons swarming this place. Let's put some torches down and be on our merry way. So first things first, I want to begin expansion over to that tree over there. I think that is where we will have um, our furnaces and things. So that'll kind of be our our furnace room, our smelting room. So we can do a bunch of that over there. And I do want to do like a good old wooden plank bridge. Just kind of going teetering across the edge of this world. Um, how exactly we do that, I'm not sure. I'm not a good I'm not a good builder, but we'll figure it out as well. Ow! I think this is one of those situations where scaffolding would really come in handy. So I'm gonna break down some of this bamboo and we can uh, we can make some scaffolding. I am terrible with using scaffolding. It confuses me. I, I I don't understand it. I crouch and I fall straight through it. I I I jump and I don't move, or I start climbing the whole thing. I. I it, it's beyond me, but I guess we'll figure it out. Well, I forgot we need string for that, so we don't we don't particularly have any strings. So maybe maybe we can just use cobblestone. Yeah, we actually can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this, this is fine. I, I'll be fine. Oh, except when we mm. see, I want it to go down one more, and I I guess we're just gonna have to drop down, and then. Uh, Go like that and get rid of this one. Scaffolding would really be useful right now. <laughs> Hold on, I see a spider. We gotta. Uh, we uh, usually I run from spiders in real life, but this time we gotta go towards it. Ugh. Okay, he's just down here. There he is. You, you're mine. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come back, come back! Don't you run from me! Don't you run from me! Didn't even drop string. Ah. Well, what do you think? Obviously this uh, cobblestone wall part isn't quite done, but the concept still stands of this is like my room. I'd have a couple chests in here, I have my bed in here, and I can walk across this bridge, and over on the other side would be my furnace room. I haven't decided quite how the walls will work, how tall I want to make this room, um, that sort of thing. I think it could vary depending on what tree I'm on. Like, for example, this would be my room. It would be a very small room. There's not a whole lot of space that I can go up because this tree is in the way. 
Uh, I could have, you know, maybe a second story. I could have a staircase. Oh, I quite like that, actually. A staircase kind of going up to the t very top of this tree. Um, and then kind of my room extends to up there. I've got this tree nearby that I could go to, maybe for brewing or something like that, or a storage room could be good. I've got this tree, and then they just, they connect. They're all little rooms around here. I think it looks cool on the minimap because you can see how it circles the trees pretty nicely. So let me get some stone and, and finish this and kind of see how it looks. I'd love to add some, some lanterns instead of torches on here. I think lanterns always look nicer. Well, this is an odd little cavern. There's grass here and so smooth. Herobrine himself could have done it. Oh dear. I thought I saw a scaly. But we're all right, and this opens up to a huge chasm here. Oh my wow! Oh my wow! <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. Okay. Well then, I could start placing down some of the 10,000 torches I accidentally crafted, I suppose. And surely there's some iron down here. Ooh, Slenderman. Oh, okay! Daylight! Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, 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 nope. We're too skilled. We're too skilled. We're OP. We can't be beaten. <laughs> oh, I'm out of food. <laughs> okay, I cannot die. I cannot die. Oh, wow, that's a big chasm. Uh, yeah, let's step away from the edge of that. Okay, I came unprepared. Was it up this way? Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks right. This looks right. Oh, look at that. Back to safety. Easy peasy. 